see you, old friend. the Danes. It's always the damn Danes. Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields. Yeah. Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? You slaughtered my best milk cow, you beast! I did not touch your herd. You fools are making this worse. Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there is a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. Bite marks, but not from any beasts I know. And the corpse is covered in a strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. You there! What befell this poor beast? Dames befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're honed up in their own church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I have heard talk of a beast on the loose. Blood still wet as dew. Where does it lead? A Jotun did this. I saw it, all big and hairy, staggering across the moor. Giants aren't real. You saw the devil himself taking his tithe to hell. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Roria. I did. The night it happened. I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf? A bear? Maybe a rabbit hound? It was a Jotun, as straight as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name. Drendel. By the gods, what manner of beasts flung that poor creature up here to its doom? 
What sort of beast leaves a glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Hrothgar and his band of dates. Were the killer's men? Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mold beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes, or something far, far worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolfhilda. Wolfhilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most odd. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man or a pack of them. A girl mentioned a name. Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues. Should be up there in the trees ahead. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Carrion and death. Loki shriek. Saints, save me! Did the wolves get a bite of you? No. I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I... misjudged you. No need. But tell me what happened. The beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm... searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No. But I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the warband. You know for a fact this axe is his? Yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his warband. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisleek Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man, for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wolfhilda. And an uncommonly opened mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable. That, at times, introduces... unholy ideas. And your Church accepts your... unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, 
stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Hrothgar's men are rowdy sorts, but the air is far too still. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. Hrothgar and his men, they... they were good to me. Have a care, Wolfhilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Hrothgar. I do not see him among the dead. I shall find him. Look out. Someone crawled into the loft or dragged a body up there. You are Hrothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark greater and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. <coughs> what was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back. You and I. Not I. My wounds are too great, and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Helheim. For me. Ride with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel, whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait, warrior. There were... two... Let's hide. To not scare the demon off when it returns. We'll wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil with prayer. Wolfhilda, be still. Something stirs. Today you die! No kill! Play! I play! Mother! It hurts! Mother, help! It hurts me, mother! the 
that is holy and bright. What manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold, but this Grendel is, was, a man. But where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us, even the most hideous, have souls. O oh Lord, forgive this man his sins, and grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Wolfhilda. I'll follow this trail. Grendel must have tracked this mold here, but from where? The trail leads southwest. More mold. I'm on the right path. me strength. The source of the mold must be near. Speaks of her child, Grendel, a cruel fate the gods have woven. Troll curse corruption lurks here. Lifted. I 
key. So fitting. Yet but use is a key with no luck. Hilda must know the truth of this. Abbas. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one. About heroes and monsters. For the truth. The bone-cold truth of everything. It's often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now, but will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhelda. Make it a good tale. Garden Bloodshoe's cave should be close by. <laughs> My eyes cannot forget the sight, God. Her hair so long and falling down. How are you cold? You bear skins, you wolf shirts, you tasters of blood. They call us shield biters, wall breakers, born in battle's flood. Soon, Alvida. Soon. A man who fights beside a great white bear. You are Bjorn Bloodtooth. Ask the dead. What do they tell you? 
They say, we do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wished me dead. They are not the first. And you, come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I am not here to fight you, Bjorn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I offer you a seat in our hall. I have no clan, and no need of another. You prefer to live alone here, with your bear? I prefer vengeance against the men who hung my wife and left her for the crows. Who is this man? A Mercian lord, whose name shall not sour my lips. He has scores of men, an army perhaps, but that will not stop me. Then let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife, you must not fall in battle. I shall think it over. Njal, go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njal trusts you, who knows? Maybe we do as you say. You are tame for so while the beast. Is that so? Tell me, what does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? Best you show me then. A mixing bowl for making berserker brew. Smells of piss and nightshade. The skulls say Bjorn carried you into battle when you were but a bear cub. Raised you as one would raise a child. Your favorite flowers. They're not food, Njal. Reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Heminger's Hall. <laughs> I can see why Björn keeps you around. Do you want some fish, Njal? Here. <laughs> Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. men were looking for you, Njal. Jorn may be in trouble as well. Oh, 
These men did not come for the fame of defeating a legendary berserker. No. They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood enemy. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces, Eivor of the Ravens. In Norway, many a young thane wanted the glory of killing me. They died. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I, we came here for a new start. A quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. This Mercian lord learned of your deeds, sought to boost his own name with your blood. You have the right of it. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold even taunted me. Then he... He hung her. Arfhilda. Your blood feud is just. But if it is something you must do alone. No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die fighting. I want to die knowing my wife is avenged. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of magic I need for my Berserker brew. You shall have it. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. When you find the Nightshade, bring it to me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodoric Swamp. Nightshade often grows near graveyards. And Saxons build their graveyards near churches. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England. Send them instead to the same hell they brought upon our land. This is not your place, heathen. Leave before you draw the wrath of our father. Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. I mean you no harm. I warned you to leave. Now go at my hand. You're bleeding, dunghill. Go 
the hell? May God track you down! Tell me again, what did your God say about me? My God names you the crow eyed devil. And he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. Your nightshade. Good. It has the power we need for the common ritual. Nearly done. The skull say Odin hung himself on a tree much like this. He lived, though. Most die. Yggdrasil. The world tree. Odin's gallows. The place where life and death are one. Ride with me, Raven. The Sather awaits. Berserker brew hits hard. It may open your eyes to the spirit realm. It may turn you into a savage beast. Whatever happens, face it without fear. What do you fight for, you bear skins? The wolf shuts you drinkers of blood. We fight for glory, we shield biters. War breakers, born in battle's flood. I've been close to death many times, but this, this was different. Ugh, feels like a Jotun kicked my head in. Tis glorious, is it not? Berserker bro does not, does not agree with my belly. Ugh. But you live still. Can you feel the power of the bear's blood coursing through your veins? Yes. But you, you were a bear. And the bear power courses through me still. I'm ready. Where to? The Mercians who slew my wife cowered in Beodorchsworth. We shall kill them all. 
With me! No! Y'all will taste mercy and blood! Show me what you can do, Berserker! Joran, your enemy has fallen. You have your revenge. Yes. But now I fear I must ask you one last thing. Should you be willing? What is it? Njorn is tired. I will tend to her beneath the tree where this all began. Please, bring us some of her favorite flowers. They look like... 
I know the ones. I'll gather them and meet you beneath the gallows tree. Stay strong, my child. Bjorn is here. I saw some of Njal's favorite flowers growing behind the gallows tree. grave. No wonder he visits this tree often. Flowers from Jarl. Now to meet Björn beneath the gallows tree. brought her here, where it began, where it ends. I understand. They hung my wife in this tree, and buried her among its roots. A grim and undeserved fate. We took Njal in as a cub. She and I. No children of our own. Now both are gone. Yet I remain. Dear Njal, you were always at my side for the better years of my life. I must have end like this. We strive for fame and glory and good deeds. Naught else can we do. Yes. Even the gods will die. The Nornir stitch our dooms, and none may go against the threat. We are but single threads, and who knows what pattern they weave. Before, you asked if I would join your clan. I am ready. Good. There'll be a place for you on my longship and in my clan. I shall sing of Alfilda and Njal during our travels. Sing of their deeds. And I will carry their names into battle. When you're ready, follow the river Nene to my settlement. We shall welcome you as a brother. I will be the Berserker of the Raven Clan. 